Hi everyone, welcome back to Clipping for Coupons with Allie. If you haven't already, um, go ahead and click the link in the description box down below. That is going to direct you to a Dollar Tree Pantry stock up video, and this is kind of the second part to that. So all of the items that you see here on the table in front of me are from Walmart. I went to the Walmart app and I did an online order and I picked up right at the store and it was super convenient and super easy. So the first part of my pantry stock up was from Dollar Tree and the second part is here from Walmart. So this is my second or third time doing Walmart pickup and at the end of this video I'm going to give you my um, overall opinion about how it works and do I think it's worth it, does it save time, etc. Um, the first thing I want to share with you are the items that I picked up today. I had a $50 budget and I wanted to make sure that I stayed right on track with that and I did awesome. There were some substitutions which I will point those out and also explain a little bit about those as well. So the first items that I stocked up on were the saltine crackers and I go for the unsalted tops. We used to always get the ones with the salt on the top um, but because we are trying to do a low sodium diet, I figured a few weeks ago, let's try these and they're actually pretty good. So um, they're only 75 cents at my local store. So every time I place an order, I just go ahead and grab a box. They have a pretty long expiration date, so they'll stay on the shelf for quite some time. Of course, I had to pick up some of the Uncrustables, and this item was actually a substitution. I asked for the uh, big box of 10, but they didn't have that in stock, so they substituted the four pack instead. And I really wish that they would do like two four packs um, but they only did one. So it is what it is. They do adjust um, the price that you're paying. So this was only about $3. Um, it's super simple, super easy just to throw in the freezer, have on hand, take out when you need it. I also went ahead and I picked up some of the cinnamon graham crackers and I was picking these up at Aldi for uh, actually a few months in a row. But these are the same price at Walmart, so I figured why go to an extra store when I can just grab these. So I picked up the cinnamon graham crackers. And I also picked up some uh, Land O'Lakes American cheese and that's a little under a pound and all of this stuff is kept in uh, refrigerators before you go and pick it up so you don't have to worry about your stuff not being cold one of the family favorites here is string cheese so i went ahead and grabbed one pack of these there's 12 of them in there so this will last us about a week and a half to two weeks I also stocked up on the uh, Great Value white rice. This is the instant rice, and this is the 28 ounce box, and I went ahead and I picked up two of them. It was cheaper to get the bigger box versus two smaller boxes. So when you're shopping around and stocking up for your pantry, just check on the different sizes and have a calculator right there next to you so you can kind of do the math and see what is going to be best for your pocket and your pantry. One of my all-time favorites to get from uh, Walmart is the Key Lime Great Value Yogurts. So there's four in a pack here. And this time I went ahead and I picked up two of the four packs. I also picked up the Farmhouse Honey White Bread and also some sub rolls. Now the sub rolls that I asked for were only two, it was like a two pack for 98 cents, but they didn't have those in stock. So they used this as a substitution. So I ended up getting six rolls, six big sub rolls for only 98 cents. So that's a great deal. So that's one good thing about Walmart is if they don't have what you've asked for, they can sometimes do a substitution. It's not always the best, but usually it works in your favor. 
I also went ahead and I picked up three of the spring water uh, one gallon jugs. We needed some milk, so I went ahead and got the 1% low fat gallon of milk. And I also went ahead and grabbed this pack of water here. We're stocking up on water, so every time I place an order, I just go ahead and add one of these. It's only like $1.74, so not bad at all. I also went ahead and picked up some garlic bread. This was also a substitution. I requested the Great Value brand and they didn't have them, so they gave me the uh, Pepperidge Farm, which is perfectly fine with us. So we got two of the garlic breads for the freezer. And I used the last of the vegetable oil the other day, so I went ahead and picked up one more of the vegetable oils. And these are a simple and easy snack, so I went ahead and picked up two packs of the four pack of the chocolate and vanilla uh, snack packs. Uh, of course, I had to look at their seasonings. I did get some more bay leaves. I wanted the organic ones, but they didn't have any. So they um, substituted this one, which is perfectly fine with me, um, but for the same price. And also more seasonings. I did pick up um, down here the uh, Great Value Whipped Topping. That is great on um, fruit or if you're making a dessert, anything like that. Definitely a good item to have on hand. You can keep it in the freezer if you have room. So that is everything that I got from my Walmart pickup today. And overall, I am really satisfied with the Walmart pickup. Now, sometimes they don't always have the items that you're looking for. You do have to schedule a few days in advance in my local area. Sometimes they do offer same day pickup. And there's one other thing that I want to mention. I also ordered a six pack of the uh, vitamin water that I enjoy. Those have to be shipped, um, but I did get an email that they were going to be delayed due to stock in their warehouse. So you may run into that as well. Some of your items may have to be shipped from walmart.com and they will arrive right at your front door. There's no extra shipping cost. Just keep that in mind um, and also keep, keep an eye out if you're um, placing an order. It will tell you when you go to check out. So overall, I am happy. I would give the Walmart pickup, um, the whole process is pretty simple. So I would give it about an eight out of 10. And um, when you place your order, you can pay with a credit card, a debit card, an EBT card. Um, you can, there's uh, payment options available. So you're not restricted, which I do like that. Shopping online on the app is super convenient. I do it in between work or if I'm on the toilet and I have a second, I add items there as well. So um, it's very convenient that you can just bring things with you and make a list, select a date and time to pick up. And once you arrive at the store through the app, um, you just let the employees know that you are there and they will bring everything out to your car for you. They put it all in your trunk and then you drive away. So yay for that, makes things super, super easy. And I did get a welcome bag. This is the second time that I've received this welcome bag from Walmart. And I'm thinking that you may get one too if you place an order. Inside of the bag is one of these little Walmart clips. If you have like chips or crackers or something that need closing, it has a magnet on it. So that's super helpful. So I'll throw that on the fridge or maybe in our drawer. Also in this bag here, I think this is a date. There's, actually, what is, is this a date? Yeah, this is a date. I was right. Okay, so there's one date in here, and then there are some instructions and ingredients. I don't know what that's about, but you can check that out if you're interested. Ooh, um, Uncle Ben's Original Ready Rice Spanish Rice. This came for free, so yay for free rice. I mean, that's an awesome um, stock-up item for a pantry. 
and also some of the Star Kiss Premium White Chicken, no draining. This was completely free, so that's cool. Um, wow, not bad at all. So we got some free items. And then we just got a little thank you here for doing pickup. So super simple, super easy. Overall, I am very satisfied. And I think you guys should give it a try. So I'm going to end the video here so I can go ahead and put all of my cold items in the fridge. Make sure you click that link in the description box down below. Check out the first part to my Dollar Tree uh, pantry stock up. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that notification button so you do not miss out on a single video.